If we now move on to the mixer and we look at the new mixer, when we speak to our customers about their requirements for mixers, we can see very clearly two things that stand out. One of those is actually energy efficiency in terms of actually reducing energy cost. The second is reliability. As I said right at the start of this presentation, we believe in going back to the absolute basics in terms of redesigning products. For this product, we have actually focused on five key areas. The first area is making sure that we have the lowest energy consumption. The second area is greater process control. Third area is reduced mix of variations. Fourth area, cost effective maintenance. And the fifth area, improved reliability. What I'd like to do now is just take a couple of minutes and touch on uh, each of those uh, subjects. If we take the first one and we talk about improved um, energy efficiency, the XRW mixer is now making use of permanent magnet technology. It is the first submersible mixer to be launched on the market making use of permanent magnets. It will actually give us an efficiency improvement of up to 35%. It will also make this mixer the most energy efficient medium speed mixer available on the market today. If we look at the products that are currently available at the moment, we can see there are three technologies being used. The vast majority of the mixers installed today are actually making use of a direct drive high pole submersible motor. When we look at the efficiency of those high pole motors, we can see that it's very, very low. The second technology that's used is actually a line start permanent magnet motor. This is a variation of the standard motor with a slightly improved uh, efficiency. The third option we have is actually using high efficiency motors and gearboxes. They are the three technologies currently on the market today. For ABS today, we launched the fourth technology and that is making use of the permanent magnet motor. If we look at what that means in real terms, in terms of efficiency improvement and energy efficiency, we can see that if we look at the high pole motors, typical efficiencies would be somewhere around about 75%. If we come up to the permanent magnet motor mixers, we can see that we are now increasing that all the way up to 91%. If we look at what that means in actual cash terms, if we look at what it means in terms of energy saved, even if we take a small mixer, an example we have here is for a five kilowatt mixer, we can actually see that over one year, we would expect to see a saving a little bit over $2,000 in terms of energy. The reason we see such a big energy saving is, as you know, most medium speed mixers are running 24 hours a day, and therefore the amount of energy used is very, very high. On this particular example, we can see that the efficiency is improved from 67% all the way up to 91%. The second area where we can see a big advantage of using permanent magnets is actually greater process control. If you look at one of the benefits we get from using uh, permanent magnets, it means we have to use a, a variable speed drive, and by having a variable stream, stream speed drive, excuse me, it allows us much finer adjustment in terms of the thrust required. If we go back to the normal selection in terms of a medium speed mixer, what normally happens is that we work out the thrust required and we size the mixer. What we then do is we go up one size in terms of the next matching propeller. With the technology that we have here today, that is not actually required. We can actually size the mixer exactly to the thrust requirement that the selection software gives us. A second step in terms of actually optimizing that process is that when the mixer is installed on site, you have a further opportunity in terms of actually optimizing the performance in terms of speed with the process and the mixer. The more that you can optimize the mixer in terms of speed, obviously the less power you're going to use and the greater or better reduction you will get in terms of um, energy efficiency. If we look at the sort of savings that we expect in, in terms of uh, matching the uh, selected mixer to the thrust figure, again, what we can see is that we see another $1,000 roughly in terms of energy saved as a result of actually better selection in terms of the mixer size. The third benefit that we see here is reduced mixture variations. 
when we actually look at the design of the uh, mixer, what we will actually see is that we have a very limited number of basic sizes of the mixer, which we can then run at different speeds and at different kilowatt ratings. What is actually being launched today is two basic motor sizes that will make use of one propeller. Those two basic motor sizes will then have uh, three options in terms of uh, variable speed, and that is what will actually decide the rating of the motor. The big benefit that we see here is that it gives you the opportunity to actually uh, move mixers within a treatment works, actually not having to change the starter, just moving the mixer to the different applications, giving much more flexibility and flexibility and security of the process. In terms of cost-effective maintenance, when we look at the design of the mixer, the first thing that you will see is that it's greatly reduced in terms of size. As a result of actually reducing the size of the mixer, it uh, will give us much easier installation, and it will also give us much easier weight, lower weight, in terms of handling. In terms of how the service is completed, for all of the permanent magnet mixers, we will have an exchange program where basically you can take the mixer out and you can exchange the mixer. So no maintenance is actually required on site. When you look at the uh, limited number of options we have, again, this helps in terms of uh, stock holding for you and also making sure that we secure the process at all times. The last, but by no means least, the um, important is to improve reliability. If we were to go and talk to our customers and actually ask them to uh, list in terms of priority, um, in most cases we would actually see that reliability was number one on the list. As a result of going back to the basics, we've been able to incorporate now a lot of features um, on the XRW that are going to greatly uh, improve the reliability of the mixer. As a result of using permanent magnet technology, we now have a very high overload capacity which means there is very a little chance of damaging the mixers. And as a result of using the very efficient motors, we now have a very cool environment in which the bearings operate. And that now allows us to design the units with a 100,000 hour bearing life. We also have an optimized uh, mechanical seal, and we've also done a lot of work now on the solids deflection ring, which historically has been one of the areas where we have had some maintenance issues. In summary, when we look at the XRW, what we can very clearly see now is that we have the absolute latest in terms of technology with a permanent magnet motor. It will give you a very, very strong solution in terms of energy reliability, but it will also give you a very strong solution in terms of flexibility. What we expect to see in terms of the XRW is that we expect to see further um, mixers coming out over the uh, next uh, 12 months where we will actually work on the smaller sizes using uh, other technologies and we will also work on the larger sizes. Today uh, on stand we have a number of our people selling blue shirts who will be very very happy to um, answer any questions and uh, with that I would ask if there's any questions that we'd like answered now. Okay, if we'll stop there and uh, hand over to my colleagues on the stand. Thank you very much.